Thanks to Nord Green for sponsoring this video. Hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome or welcome back to Better Creating. For a long time, I found it very difficult to focus. I would get distracted easily, become overwhelmed by competing ideas and tasks, or just feel too tired to really bring myself to sit at the desk and work. Do you recognize this? Well, I'm not gonna claim that doesn't happen to me anymore, but I am gonna show you how these five minimalist tools hold the secret to improving your focus and avoiding turning another day working from home into an involuntary Netflix and chill. Wow, that's another three hours gone. Number one, this is my Stelton vacuum jug and Ando's glass by Jasper Morrison, if you're interested. I take them to my desk in the morning and the water stays cold for the day. First of all, I find their design super calming and pleasing to use, so that's a good start. But forget all the Notion productivity systems and nice looking items for a minute. They might be the single most important tool for better focus because of water. Your brain is roughly 75% water, and when it's functioning on a full tank, you'll be able to think more clearly, increase your ability to focus, and experience greater clarity and creativity. And I always forget to drink enough of it. Bottom line, mild dehydration, fluid loss of like one to 3% can impair energy levels, impair mood, and lead to major reductions in memory and brain performance. And that is why I keep this on my desk because it's commonly recommended that you drink eight eight ounce glasses of water a day it's like the eight by eight rule do you do that let me know in the comments because before i started using this i definitely didn't so this is a rather beautiful analog watch so what's it got to do with focus for me, it's been the key to minimizing distractions and getting better sleep recently. So I'm an Apple lover. I'm a tech lover, a lifetime Apple user. I find that intuitive platform integration, minimal design aesthetic, it's a great formula for staying creative and productive. But I do not have now an Apple Watch. Why? Well, it's because of what Anthony Ongaro calls the Twitch. Do you recognize that moment when you just auto check your emails or messages without thinking? Unwanted digital distractions are one of the biggest factors today in hindering our focus. And as Ongaro says, these common twitches, like checking your watch for your messages, pacify our tiny discomforts during the day with impulsive, unproductive solutions. So that's why I'm a fan of minimal analog watches. It could be an alarm clock, or it could be keeping your phone out of your bedroom and away from your desk. It will all go a very long way to allowing you to sleep better and stay focused for longer without those unwanted dopamine hits and screen light tricking you into an alert state. Check out Break the Twitch in the link below for more information. So this is the perfect point to tell you about today's sponsor, Nordgreen Watches. I've been a fan of their minimalist Scandinavian design aesthetic and sustainable, eco-conscious approach to product design for quite a while. So when they got in contact, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. If you're looking for that new watch, perhaps to beat the Twitch, then check them out. I own their Pioneer model with a brown leather and also a black vegan leather strap, and it's the best watch I've owned. But more than that, I like how they're focused on how we can all shop more consciously around our impact on the environment. Taking time to look at upcycling initiatives is a great place to start. Nordgreen even offer a line of refurbished watches to support this idea of reusing and recycling. Their packaging is designed with recycled paper and plastic bottles, and Nordgreen's new Guardian line was just released on the 19th of April. So check them out. You can get 15% off their watches and straps using my code BETTER via the link in the description, as well as free delivery and returns around the world. Now this leads us nicely on to the most surprising change that I've made to help improve my focus. Do you wear all the clothes in your closet? I'd say probably not. Well, I'm sure you've heard of Steve Jobs or Mark Zuckerberg famously wearing the same clothes every day to remove distraction. Well, to me, that started off sounding a little extreme and kind of strange, but in reality, a smaller decluttered wardrobe can be really calming, creative, and freeing without sacrificing the pleasure of owning the clothes that you love. So here's a question. If you had to get your items down to 32 pieces of clothing, there's a whole movement around it, what would it offer you? Well, for one, you get to invest more in the quality pieces you do choose, and it actually adds pleasure and satisfaction for me, feeling good in what I'm wearing. 
It also makes it easier to keep organized in your wardrobe, as well as completely removing the decision making in the morning. I find I can more quickly focus on the first actions of the day that are adding value to my life and work. A collection of your favorite t-shirts, for example, is a great place to start. And for me, it also helps recycling B-roll footage. Number four, this is an AeroPress and it makes the best cup of coffee you can make at home for under about $30. So look, coffee is not essential, I know my friends, but when drunk in moderation and at the right time, it has been proven it can improve brain function, clarity and focus. According to Harvard School of Public Health, low to moderate doses of caffeine, that's 500 to 300 milligrams, can genuinely cause increased alertness, energy, and an ability to concentrate. That's up to two to three small cups. That said, higher doses may have negative effects such as anxiety, restlessness, insomnia, and increased heart rate. Still, the cumulative research on coffee points in the direction of a health benefit. Caffeine's half-life is around five to up to nine and a half hours. So just don't drink it after 12 and you're good. I've tried a lot of different approaches to making coffee in my time. French press, strainers, percolators, but this is the best I've found. Okay, it's not the most beautiful thing, but it most definitely wins on function. It's super fast to use, makes the smoothest cup of coffee I've ever had at home. And you clean it like this. Done. Your link is waiting in the description. This is a notebook, or rather a journal. Okay, finding mental clarity through reflection is one of the oldest self-development tools in the book. Just ask the famous Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius. Well, you obviously can't ask him, but just, just search for Stoic journaling and you'll be away. The practice of prompted journaling was what enabled Marcus Aurelius to think so clearly and be so effective. And guess what? It still works. According to a study conducted by Harvard Business School, participants who journaled at the end of a day had a 25% increase in performance when compared with a control group who did not journal. As the researchers concluded, our results reveal reflection to be a powerful mechanism behind learning, confirming the words of American philosopher John Dewey, we do not learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience. Nowadays, I tend to use my real notebook to process ideas and just jump into Notion on my phone to write down tasks and thoughts that I don't want to forget in my second brain system. But trust me, it is the best habit I've cultivated and you should watch this video next for more on how stoic journaling can help you and how I do it in Notion. Or watch this one next for some essential ideas to simple approaches to staying productive. It would be amazing if you left a comment. Awesome if you subscribed if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.